In this House of Logic video, we're going to have a look at Cloud in it in combination with Terraform. Uh, we've had a look at both of these separately previously, but uh, this is going to be about how to combine the two. Uh, so to explain the setup here, what we have is this uh, machine simply called Ubuntu 2404, which is over here, which is my uh, Terraform um, staging machine, I suppose you could call it, or automation machine, um, where we're going to be running Terraform from, and uh, that's featured in a previous video. Um, what we also have, of course, this is the Proxmox environment that we're using. And um, for reference uh, purposes, we have been going through the cloud init support documentation, um, which I've referenced previously. So we've we've used this for setting up a um, an image. We'll be using this to set up an image. Um, additionally, we're going to use the uh, Terraform Telmate provider again, um, but this time using the explicit example for cloud init. Um, so we'll go through that. And um, also, um, the other piece is the Ubuntu cloud image, which you can find on cloudimages.ubuntu.com. And we're going to use the Oracular Oriole, um, Orioli, however you pronounce it, um, uh, image. So the uh, the 24.10 version, which is uh, somewhat easier to pronounce. So um, you can find that if you go into uh, the uh, the actual uh, current version for that particular um, uh, district. Well. Uh, release version I should say uh, and you are you are looking for the uh, the cloud image in this, ca this case amd64.img which is in qcal slash um, ufe gpt bootable disk image format so going back to our host what we want to do is open up the shell and we are going to use a number of commands which are basically taken from the cloud in its support page so I have adapted these um, with reference to the Oracula um, release. So what we will do is we will first of all um, go and download the image, which will take a moment or two. So we will kick that off and let that complete. Now the, the next step is actually something I've already um, completed, which is to install the, uh, the lib um, guest FS tools because it comes with a uh, a tool which allows you to inject certain commands and options into the downloaded image which aren't there by default. I'm not going to go into all the finer details of everything you can do with it um, this time, but we will use uh, the install Kemu guest agent option just because it makes it that much easier and means we don't have to mess around with snippets as we have done previously. So we'll fire that command off and that may take a minute or two to run through. Okay, so that's done. And our next um, item on the list here is to go and create the VM. Like so, and you'll then expect to see it pop up in the list over on the list. left. There it is. Um, so what we need to do now is to import the uh, the image onto uh, a local disk for it. Now uh, this does have to be a the import from option here does have to be the full path and not relative. I tested this and attempted to um, do a previous version of this video and it failed on this uh, particular option. So that's working rather nicely. Okay, so that's done, and that brings us on to our next options, which is to set some things specifically for cloud in it, which we will set the local IDE and serial, uh, virtualized serial port options, and we'll set the boot option to be a SCSI zero disk, and then Finally, we will set that to be a template. Whoops, I'm pressing the wrong key, not the shift key. And that will set that one to be a template. There we go. So VM9000, and what we can do then is we can clone that, and we'll do a manual test. We're gonna use linked clone mode for this. Uh, oh, hang on, if we do that, uh, yeah, actually, we'll, we'll do it like this, right? So we'll just call it test VM and hit go. Okay, so now we can actually go in and we're going to set the options on here. We'll just go test for a user and password. Whoops. If I could type it properly. 
and obviously you can set those on the template as well if you want them to be the same um, everywhere but uh, it's not really what we're doing this time so let's hit start and then bring the console up and that will that should start going through and we should start seeing some console output we'll let that one run through and then we should be able to log in Okay, so that's taken a couple of minutes to come up, and I think it should be ready to log into now. So we go test and password. I think it was getting stuck on the network settings as we didn't bother to configure anything on that test VM. But there we go, we've been able to log in using the test user and a, a simple password. Okay, so we now know that that works from a cloud in it perspective. Um, so we can just kill that off, leave that, and stop it, and then simply go and remove it because we don't need it. Okay, um, right, well, that bit is completed. So now what we need to do is we need to hop over to our um, Terraform machine. So let's make this slightly bigger. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and we're gonna create a directory for working in for this. So let's have a look, we've got Terraform test. Well, let's go with, um, let's, okay, DIR. Terraform, um, oh, TF, CI test, because uh, it could be Terraform or Open Tofu. Either will work uh, for what we're doing. So we're going to make that directory, and we'll go into that, and then we're going to go and pull down the standard um, uh, provider uh, cloud in example and work on that and that's not something i'm gonna uh, make you sit all the way through um but we're just going to grab that first of all and then i'll rename it to main.tf uh, so let's have a look at that um let me give it mv cloud init to main.tf and then i can do nano main.tf and i think maybe i needed to do the raw version there whoops course it's not called that anymore okay let's do that again so back into there oh there's another way we could do it we are download raw file or simply view the raw url there we go let's have that and try that again i think we can pipe that out to is it main.tf let's have a go has that worked? Okay, that's worked. And I wonder what we've got in the main.tf there. Nothing. Okay, right. Okay, so that now uh, leaves me to go and enter some details in here. Um, I have played around with uh, with some of this previously, and I know that there are definitely some options that aren't listed that you would need um, to include. So, um, yeah, I'm going to stop the recording for the time being. I'm going to edit this, and then I'll start the recording up again. Okay, so I've uh, I've been through the uh, example file and I've made a few changes um, with respect to a, a few details that I believe are required. Um, so the first one is actually including at the top here. I, I mean, this, this suggestion here says it all in terms of the comments um, is that really the provider should be in a separate provider.tf file. It's kind of the same with all the variables as well, but for ease of uh, making this video at least, um, and just for a, a straightforward demonstration, it's it's not worth messing about in my opinion, and you can just include them. It's not like you're gonna upload all of the secrets and things into GitHub, so um, although obviously we're sharing these on, on YouTube, they're of, uh, they're of zero consequence. Um, so what we've got there, then we've got the, um, the token um, ID and secret, which I've set up previously. I've got another video that demonstrates how to do that, so I'm not going into the details of that now um, we've then got the cloud init test vm resource details so i specified here obviously up here i would have uh, specified the, the host name so mine's just an ip address um, then i've got my um, my node i don't use any pools as part of this um, uh, this host 
and um, we've got there the the template to clone from which is just called vm9000 so you have to name it and not use the id um, we're going with cloud in it for the um, uh, the os type and there are all of the the various disk and um, scuzzy details it is worth noting if you've spotted at the top of the file there the actual version that's specified on this provider so previously i tried the um the telmate 2.9.14 provider um, without a lot of joy um, when it came to a straightforward cloning um, and i suspect this is down to that some of the disk schema changes um around um uh, this particular provider so the version that i'm using here is um, 3.0.1 rc4 and that does seem to have been successful when i've tried this previously um, so we go through the disk details i've changed the storage to be the actual local um, storage uh, name and we've taken away the um, the storage type of rbd uh, I think that's a raw block disk. I, I assume it's raw block device. Um, I know it, raw block device is probably it. That's what it's called in VMware, I believe. Um, uh, then we're going with the uh, VGA option. I've added that in. I've taken out the tag um, on the uh, network because we're not using VLAN tags um, on this particular host. And um, I've set the IP address um, configuration to be uh, DHCP. I've simply removed the SSH keys. I'm not going to use them on this machine, but it's um, it it would be a good um, idea to set this up and use your um, use your staging machine and to uh, basically feed in the public key from that. Um, then finally, I've set the uh, cloud init username and password, um, which you can see in the clear there. Um, We've also got the uh, the serial um, information. I've added this in um, so that we can connect through the serial device, and I think it may even be required for uh, for what you you want to do when you're actually um, starting up. So if I just save that now, and then what we're going to do is we're going to do Terraform in it, and then we'll do a Terraform plan, and that can tell me about all the spelling mistakes and errors I've made. A terraform plan not terra plan plan okay it didn't have any major objections that's a good sign and we'll go with terraform apply and hopefully this will then do what we're expecting okay so it started at least with a VM that appears to be cloned let's bring the terminal window back over and we'll leave that there and um, we'll see what that says then we'll start the machine up and see if we are successful and if we can log in using that username and password. Okay, we're about two minutes, 40 seconds into the uh, the Terraform run and uh, we're gonna leave that window there and we're just actually gonna go and open the console window here and see how this is getting on. So hopefully if this is not spewing some stuff about pixie boots and going round and round in circles, we might be getting somewhere. Let's have a look. Okay, I'm going to dare to press enter on here and see what happens. It's not looking good, let's be honest at this point. Uh, it says the machine is running, uh, but it is completely non-responsive, so it is not quite the right combination of options. Uh, I am going to do this with the Terraform window. I'm going to cancel that because I don't think that's going to proceed very successfully. I can say that because I believe the machine has cloned, but it is non-responsive in uh, this serial console window, serial terminal. So we'll close that off, and then what we'll do is we'll go and uh, stop that one. And then we can remove it, and then I'll have a delve into the Terraform code and see if I can figure out what's going on. Okay, so I've uh, I've done a bit of digging into what's been going on, and um, what I've managed to find out on the web is that actually part of um, how I set the original template up is slightly different. Um, so what you can actually do is you can actually set the um, you can actually set the boot options. Um, and I needed to do so slightly differently. So rather than setting, uh, as I originally did, set boot order and then SCSI on the template, I needed to set boot space C 
and then dash dash boot disk uh, and then the SCSI um, disk um, as an option. So I think the C must refer to Cloudflare, uh, sorry, not Cloudflare, Cloud in it. <laughs> Cloudflare is something completely different. Um, but yes, I have, uh, I've also made some further changes to the stock template. So what we've done in there, I think I've changed the SCSI hardware provider type. Um, I think the, uh, the actual device number I had to change on the, um, on the IDE disk for cloud in it and um, the uh, the SCSI or rather it was a vert IO device I've changed that to SCSI and uh, SCSI zero for the disk uh, there was some di additional disk options those I've just commented out and I've set the replicate option to true and the other one uh, I think the other primary one is actually the serial option down the bottom here. So that has set that up so that it will run um, with the serial port as the main um, connection um, for well debugging, if nothing else. And um, we'll just save that one quickly. Already been saved. But we can now go and do a Terraform. Um, let's do plan just for sake of argument. And we can see it's got various things it's going to do, and we're going to go Terraform Apply. And that should take a couple of minutes to run through. Okay, so the cloning operation is still ongoing. If you're uh, watching down the bottom here, you can see um, that it's actually done the resize on um, part of the disk there and is starting up. So if we now click over on the console option, we should see a load of stuff streaming past, which will tell us that it has managed to uh, run through. And you can see that it's actually definitely booting. And there we go, it's actually popped up with the login prompt briefly there. We're gonna hit enter, and we should be able to log in with House of Logic, and then password 123, which is what we specified and there we go, that has worked successfully. So that's how to combine uh, Terraform with Cloud in it on Proxmox. I say Terraform can also be used with Open Tofu. I'm not gonna run through that. It's a drop-in replacement practically, or certainly at this point in time it is, and there's no major differences. Um, so yeah, that works successfully. Um, what I will do is I will take the uh, the main um, .terraform file from this machine, I'll, uh, I'll clean it up slightly to remove um, some of the uh, unique details because they will be of no use to anyone. And uh, and then I will upload that onto GitHub as well. Um, that's about it for this video. I hope you found this useful. Uh, please like and subscribe if that's your kind of thing. Um, otherwise, we'll catch you next time. Thanks very much. Bye now.